Hey there, YouTube world. Postal Reptiles here. So today, I had to use my backup vehicle here. So I figured I'd make a quick short little video showing you how how I deliver out of a regular left-hand drive. This is uh, the setup. I'm, out, I'm heading out to my first mailbox up the road right there. So I just switched everything over. I have to drive out on the regular side. But yeah, this is a uh, 1996 Ford Taurus station wagon. And these work fantastic on the route. So if you're new to the job and you're looking for a, a cheap starter car, I recommend a Taurus. This is my fourth one I've had over the years. First wagon. The wagon really gives you a lot more room. But yeah, here's the setup. You know, that's my DPS right there. I got a tray of mail down there for the outgoing. There's my flats. Right now, most importantly, here's my, my hand sanitizer. <laughs> and then, in the back, you just you just fill her up as good as you can. I actually have to make two trips today. It's a busy Monday, so this is about half my route. The second half will have quite a bit more. But You can fit quite a bit of mail in these wagons. And over on this side, you know, I got some more of the smaller packages. And another uh, catcher down there for DPS errors and whatnot. But yeah, these work great. And you can, you know, there's no center console, so you can deliver from this side quite easy. I'll show you how I see how well this looks. Keep a tray of DPS on my lap. Sit like this. Move the seat forward. Left leg just reaches across. Get this out of the way. It's right there. You just drive like this. Have your arm reaching across. And you're off. But I will say my regular vehicle is a, a factory right hand drive Jeep Cherokee. And that is way nicer to to deliver out of with the steering wheel right in front, so you can just drive normally. And then I have a have a, a nice bench for all my all my mail. Everything is set up a lot nicer in that. But these Tauruses work great. I delivered out of one of these for eight years when I first started before I got the right hand drive. Like I said, this is my fourth one, and they're uh, they're nice cars. I mean, for what you get, they're a dime a dozen. They're easy to work on. The parts are cheap. So the motor's bulletproof. I've never had never had motor problems. Just mostly, you know, suspension problems and whatnot. They don't handle a ton of weight very well. But yeah, that's uh how she goes. Turn your uh, make sure you turn your rear view mirror so you can see out the back, and then you're off which I better get doing because it's a busy day today. So, better put my hand sanitizer on and hit the road. We'll see you guys next time.